Hi everyone, welcome back real quick. Please bear with me. I already did three parts and I did not want to do anything extra, but this is going to be a real quick mini clip on the continuation of pros and cons of my packing for my two week vacation in Mexico. I forgot the toiletry bag. How could I? It was hiding under something as I was moving things around. I can assure you this is it. So I got this at Walmart, I believe, or Ross, one of those two. It's good quality canvas material. Um, it um, buckles up and then of course you let it go and it has the hanger so you can hang it anywhere in the bathroom whether you're in a hotel or staying with family and friends or you can just take put in the bathroom clip it up and then when you're done in the shower doing your thing you just take it off and take it with you and put it in your room or wherever you like um, if it's in your hotel you can pretty much leave it in the bathroom um, so yeah I would put like deodorant um, I have Febreze. You always want to take a little mini Febreze. I had one bottle of my foundation, mini combs, mini clippers, um, repellent. I had a repellent. And then I bought these bottles at Walmart, which I highly recommend. They were all over the videos of people that did packing videos. They said that the lids were tighter so it wouldn't come loose open because any other bottle, they had to put a plastic saran wrap and then put the lid because they tend to come open. These didn't. They squeeze better and they really do. I used my labeler and put Jergens lotion or if it was shampoo, it had shampoo, conditioner, body wash, whatever was in the bottle. I had it labeled so if the airlines looked at it, they knew exactly what was in there and I knew what was in there because sometimes conditioner and shampoo and lotion looks just alike so I bought plenty of these and then my one daughter got green one daughter got purple so we know whose was whose just in case and then it has a bottom oh my stuff is falling out because I didn't zip it back up so it has the bottom pouch which is a bigger pouch and in there I just had a couple of extras of mini toothpaste uh, my clean and clear morning burst facial scrub um, my um, Jergens Natural Glow, Glow Daily Moisturizer, another extra bottle of my foundation, can't have, and I had plenty of stuff like a mini brush, mini combs, I had um, another deodorant, just anything that I needed, um, detangler, whatever, for there, and then like I said, it has the hanger, so if you're in your own hotel, you can leave it hanging in the bathroom and not have to take it back and forth. But if you're with family and friends, you can just leave it hanging while you're taking a shower and then take it off when you're done and take it back to your room so it travels with you. And then when you're completely done or need to pack or go to a different hotel or just you're done with vacation, you just fold it up and then it clips. So it has a clip like that. So I highly recommend it. I don't remember what I paid for it, the honest truth. I'll find out and I'll let you know in a later video. But that's what I like. This is the kind of organizer that I prefer and will only use for my toiletry um, stuff. I don't like the plastic bag, cubes, pouches, none of that. I have to have a hanging um, pouch different sections different size pouches different zipper compartments for my toiletry this is the only type of organizer i use for my toiletry it has plenty of space for all the extras plus i had extras these were just the basic that i could either care um, carry on my carry-on in case my luggage did get lost um, not all will be lost i will still have the complete basic needs of what I need it. And then if I absolutely have to, I would buy more if my luggage was lost. Um, but in the big luggage, I had extra bottles of every single thing. And I had bigger bottles. So, um, but I did separate this in case my luggage did get lost. I had my basic toiletries. Um, and even in my basic toiletries, I had two of everything. So, um, I was able, if... For some reason, God forbid, my luggage was lost. I was safe because on my carry-on, I carried my main organizer for it. But thank God my luggage wasn't lost. So I had this plus all the extras I bought on the um, checked-in bag. So I did want to show you that. I was going to wait and tell you in another video. But I thought, no, I'm just going to do a really mini clip and let them know about this because this was one of the important things that i wanted to show you so yeah that's it if i forget anything else which i looked around and i'm sure i didn't i will have to mention another video i'm not going to do another video another clip so that's my toiletry part that i preferred and that was a pro 
to my packing. And so, and that's one that I recommend to you. So thanks very much for tuning back into another small clip. Oh my God, I can't believe I had to do that. So I appreciate your time and your patience and give this video a little mini clip a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'm done with the pros and cons. I hope it's been very helpful. And thanks for taking the time to watch all the videos. So until my next video, take care.